Hello and welcome to Pronto Plus TV. My name is Mike Colangione. Whether you've had a house guest or you've just returned home from a trip, there are many steps that you can take to ensure your home is bed bug free. I call it doing your own self inspection. Bed bugs are a very small pest and very tricky to find. They can be as large as a raisin or as small as the top of a sharpened pencil. So you say, where do these bed bugs hide? Well, bed bugs like to hide in cracks and crevices. Get yourself a white piece of paper. Take it into some of the areas of your home, such as an outlet. If a corner of a white piece of paper can fit in any crevice of an outlet, you are open to having a bed bug infestation. Bed bugs are oval in shape and vary in color. From the nymph stage or the egg stage, they can be translucent and clear, all the way up to the adult bed bug, which can be red in size or brownish red after feeding. Take your white piece of paper and you want to place it inside any crack of an outlet, taking a good look at how far that piece of paper gets in there. That outlet is a hot zone for bed bugs. Bed bugs like to hide in cracks and crevices, in the folds of the mattresses, and especially in couches. If you take a look at this couch right here, there are many areas where you can find a bed bug infestation in this couch. Paying close attention to any of the seams of the couch, looking at the pillows, front and back. If the pillowcase has a cover, it's best to unzipper it and take the pillow out to do a thorough inspection of that pillow. One other area that is susceptible to a bed bug infestation is picture frames. We all have pictures all over our apartments and our homes with pictures of our loved ones. So you want to make sure that you take each and every one of those picture frames and you take a good look at what's going on behind them and also in front of them. Open up the picture frame and take the picture frame out. Take a look at inside the corners of the picture frame along the edges where the back of the picture frame meets the picture. Other areas that you want to pay close attention to is the bottoms of your walls. If you have any moldings or even the windows. If you have moldings in your home, make sure that the molding of those walls is completely flush and attached to the wall, leaving no area for bed bug harborage. If you have moldings around your home or your apartment, you want to make sure that the molding is flush and attached to the wall. Get your white piece of paper again and do the white piece of paper test to make sure that there aren't any bed bugs that can get inside of this wall. If you live in an apartment building, it's especially important for you to do an inspection of the walls, the outlets, and the moldings. You can transfer bed bugs from one apartment to the next, from one condo to the next condo, whether it's above, below, or adjacent to your home. One other area of great concern in your home to inspect is your bedroom. Make sure that you're taking a good, good look at your bed, checking the seams of the mattress and the box spring looking behind the headboard, making sure that you don't see any bed bug feces, which is black in color, or any live bed bugs, or identifying any bed bug eggs, which are translucent in color. Pick up a can of Pronto bed bug spray, which can be used on your pillows, box spring, mattress, and even in the corners of your rooms by your rug. It's always good to be educated. Follow the instructions as per the label. You've inspected your bedroom and your living room and checked all the outlets. Two other areas that bed bugs aren't typically found are your kitchen and your bathrooms. But there is something that you should pay close attention to in both areas. Make sure that you're taking a good look at the towels that you have around in your kitchen and your bathroom. Picking up any rugs that you might have laying on the ground. Make sure that you take these towels and also any rugs that you might have in these areas and wash them on high heat in your washing machine and also high heat in your dryer. Washing them under high heat will kill both any live bed bugs and also eggs that are harboring in the towels and also in the rugs. A great travel tip for before and after your trip. Before leaving for your trip, place your clothing inside of a plastic bag and place it inside of your luggage so that when you return, your soiled laundry can be placed directly from your luggage into your washer and dryer. Keeping bed bugs safe inside so they can't get out and they definitely can't get in.